evening, good evening everybody. Welcome to Dig Deeper where we dig into God's Word one verse at a time. Thank you for joining us. If you've never subscribed, please subscribe, click notification, thumbs up, and share this video with as many people as possible. For those watching Latin America, bienvenidos a este programa Escaval. Si nunca han suscrito, pueden suscribir, compartir este video con otras personas. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Let's drink our water. Salud. All right. I hope you have the greatest book you could ever read, the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible. Oro que tengan sus Biblias, la vamos a usar. We are in Joel chapter 2, verses 6 through 10. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you, we praise you, we adore you. Yes, Holy Spirit, that you direct everything I say. Let it be for your glory, for your honor. Espíritu Santo, diría todo lo que vaya a hablar y que sea para tu gloria y para tu honor. En nombre del Señor Jesús, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's hear David Suquet as he reads. Let's go back a little bit here. Here we go. They climb into the houses like thieves. They enter through the windows. Before them, the earth shakes. The heavens tremble, the sun and moon are darkened, and the stars no longer shine. The Lord thunders at the head of his army. His forces are beyond number, and mighty is the army that obeys his command. The day of the Lord is great. It is dreadful. Who can endure it? Even now, declares... Let me, let me just go back a little bit here. Horse. They do not jostle each other. Each marches straight ahead. Mm -hmm. They plunge through defenses without breaking ranks. They rush upon the city. They run along the wall. They climb into the houses like thieves. They enter through the windows. Before them, the earth shakes. The heavens tremble. The sun and moon are darkened and the stars no longer shine. The Lord thunders at the head of his army. All right, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. Joel chapter 2. And remember, Jesus Christ loves you. He is coming back real soon. If you don't, you're not sure from the beginning, let you know. Repent and put your faith in Jesus Christ. All right, let's go. Joel chapter uh, 2, verse 6. Before them, the people writhed in pain. All faces are drained of color. All right, so this is verse 6. Let's see. Here we go. The word drained is the Hebrew word mason, which means to be drained out or squeezed. This is how the people will feel during the tribulation period on the earth. People are going to feel that way. This is also looks forward to the time, uh, makes us think of the tribulation. Seven years of tribulation, they're going to come upon the earth. The wrath of God. La ira va a venir sobre el mundo durante los siete años de tribulación. No joy at all. No va a haber gozo en ese tiempo. Ronald Allen from his uh, study Bible says, Writ in pain, the invading armies were locusts like in number and their ability to penetrate and defense the defense, but like men of war, they will uh, bring fear and death with them. And that is what will happen, ladies and gentlemen. Armies will march against the nation of Israel. This is this is looking to the attack they received under the Babylonian invasion. But it looks forward also to the attack of against Israel and the war of Gog and Magog. All right, it's going to come. It's coming, ladies, and, and also the battle of Armageddon. Let's go to verse seven. Verse seven, Joel chapter two, Joel capítulo dos, versículo siete. It says, they run like mighty men, they climb the wall like men of war, everyone marches in formation, they do not break ranks. All right, so that's verse 7, and verse 7 says, the armies are compared to locusts, and locusts to armies. These are armies coming to Israel. Revelation chapter 9, uh, 1 through 4, Apocalypse 9, capítulo 9, versículo 1 al 4, the book of Job prepares readers for the book of Revelation. Listen to me again. The book of Joel prepares the readers for the book of Revelation. Libro de Joel prepara la persona para el libro de Apocalipsis. Si no lo has leído, debes leerlo. Joel y el libro de Apocalipsis. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, uh, it's a Bible teacher named Levi 
They run like mighty men. They came like uh, corpse of commandos and high uh, morale, charging their enemy with uh, with uh, great valor. No wall was too impregnable. No obstacle could be de could be deterred. Their advance, only victory, was anticipated. That was the army that was coming against Israel, the Babylonians, and also looking forward to the end, ladies and gentlemen, to that battle of Gog and Magog, and also the battle of Armageddon. Okay, let's look at Revelation chapter 2, verse 8. They do not push one another. Everyone marches in his own column. Though they lunge between the weapons, they are not cut down. They run to and fro the city. They run on the wall. They climb into their houses and enter at the windows of the thief. Verse 10. The earth quakes before them, the heavens tremble, the sun and the moon grow dark, and the stars diminish their brightness. Okay, I've read through most, all of them. All right, verse 8. Let's look at verse 8 here. Verse 8, we have, uh, verse 8, the word march is the Hebrew word uh, dorak. Dorak means to walk, to tread, to guide, to move on. The locusts were very organized. They have certain formation that they always follow. Una formación que siempre viajan la misma manera. The locusts represent armies that are coming against uh, Israel. Esta uh, langosta representan la, la, las fuerzas armadas militares que van a venir contra Israel. Vinieron en el tiempo de con Babilonia y después van a venir en esta guerra de Gog y Magog. Ladies and gentlemen, it's lining up right now in Israel. Uh, Israel believes that they will be able to defeat these armies and they created something called the, the rebirth. Ladies and gentlemen, the only one that's going to be able to stand against all these enemies is going to be the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Israel will not be able to do it with their armies. It's only with the power of Almighty God. They need to put their faith in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not in their military. It's a big mistake. Okay, they need to put their faith in that. And they think they can bring about peace. The only one that will bring peace, el único va a traer paz al Medio Oriente, a Israel, va a ser el Señor Jesucristo. Please don't fool yourselves. Wake up. In Jesus' name. All right, so we are, that's verse 8. And the locusts, were, again, these are armies that are coming against Israel. Uh, verse 8, they do not break ranks. This was the time of the locusts, but certainly could speak of an army marching against Israel. Una fuerza amada, marchando y caminando contra Israel. All right, let's go to verse 9. We're in Joel chapter 2. Verse 9, Joel, capítulo 2, versículo 9. They run to and fro in the city. They run on the wall. They climb into the houses. They enter the windows like a thief. Ladies and gentlemen, that's an army that's going to come. A major army. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're seeing right now in Israel, in, you know, Israel, different países, uh, they're thinking of attacking Iran. Iran has nuclear bombs. And I knew that way back, about three or four years ago, David, uh, Dr. Peter Van Surprise said it uh, on another program I have where he said that they did. So all of this, what we're seeing here in Joel, is nations will come against Israel. But the only one that will help Israel is God Almighty, El Shaddai, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. El único que va a ayudar a Israel es el Dios de Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. All right, let's go to verse 9. Verse 9, right here. Verse 9 says, what do we have? It says, the locusts are every, ate everything in the field, and then they went to the city. The word thief is the Hebrew word garna, means who steals coming by night. And Joseph viene a robar. That's verse 9. Remember the thief. And they are cut down, they run to and fro, they climb in the houses, they enter the windows like a thief. Entran a robar. That's what these armies will do. 